We're standing here on a balmy November day in front of the Bayan Center for Information Technology. Not an intelligent piece of design. We come into these nice large doors about eight feet tall, something like that, and that's about the only positive feature. In order to maintain them, they, they have these piano hinges. And for the first five or six years of this building's existence, you could not maintain a conversation as you went through these doors because of the squeaking sound as the hinge was pulled open. Let's go inside and see what else there is in here. As we get here to the end of the hallway, we find an excellent idea poorly executed. And this is going to be the theme for the day. We have a number of these small, excellent ideas. And each of these has this fascinating piece of excellent idea with a little excellent idea, this sort of chase long kind of a, an effect. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite work. It's supposed to be a nice, comfortable place for people, but it's not an excellent idea. You have to lean all the way back to the wall. I am not terribly tall, but I am wonderful stuff. Up here on the second floor, we have quite a few tutorial rooms. They're reasonably nice rooms. They feel like very large boxes into which you can fit about 50 people on uncomfortable chairs, but that's about the only positive feature. The handles themselves don't do anything, and so when you walk in or out of any of these rooms, you hear a slight sound. And this happens every single time. So if you're writing a test or an exam for each and every single time, you hear something that sounds an awful lot like someone cocking a shotgun in a Tarantino movie. We have one ventilation system for air conditioning, another ventilation system for heating. And the heating systems are the ones that run along the ceiling. The air conditioning are the ones here on the floor take just a moment to review your grade 12 physics and tell me what the problem with that is. <laughs> what we have over here is these small bays in which students can sit down and study. The backrests aren't very comfortable and they're at the wrong angle. Everything is bolted down to the floor because I can't, apparently we can't be trusted to not move these tables and hurl them over the balcony or something. But you have a blackboard with some excellent bits of mathematics on it. We did set that up. As we climb up now, we see that there's less safety glass. We can have all of the rambunctious engineers fall out here and over there. We, we have gotten rid of quite a few of the rambunctious engineers. Wonderful stuff. It's a lot safer now. We're about to get to the really fun bits. The fire emergency area of refuge for the disabled is at the farthest point to any access to the building. And so, if, uh, if you're disabled and there's a fire emergency, you are supposed to wait. If you're disabled and on the seventh floor, you come over here to the section that is diametrically opposed to where the firefighters will actually be entering the building. You are, as Dirty Harry says, SOL. The, this railing over here comes down and the, the railing itself juts out past the stairs. Not an intelligent piece of design. It looks kind of cool, but what inevitably happens, and I always try to stand right where our camera is and watch as a couple of frosh walk around talking about how strange their calculus instructor is, and all of a sudden one of them gets folded in half, folded in half, folded in half, folded in half by this railing. It's at a very unfortunate height, but it's wonderful stuff for everyone who isn't the person getting hit. If you want to get to the elevators to go up to the sixth floor after hours, you need to have one of these, uh, one of these fobs. Out of all six elevators that go up to this floor, five of them have had their electric fob readers removed. There's nothing you can do about it. We see this very nice Romeo and Juliet type balcony from which you can have excellent productions of Shakespearean plays. Uh, if only you don't mind the fact that you'll be yelling wherefore art thou or Romeo to someone who is about a hundred feet down from you. I just want to make one thing completely clear. If any of you ever design something like this building over here, I will find out, I will know, and I will come to you and I will take away your iron ring. 
don't ask how, I will be able to do it.